Hello ladies and gentlemen, I have to be very posh today since I will be making the famous and stylishly delicious beef wellington. What a special treat! Soft, juicy, delicious beef wrapped in a creamy chicken mousse and then wrapped in a crunchy puff pastry. The taste is as impressive as the appearance. So let's begin to make this beef wellington. First of all, I have to say that I, I used to work at the Golden Hotel at London and this was one of the signature dishes uh, of the hotel. I've made this recipe so many times that actually for me it's a piece of cake, but for you maybe seem a little bit complicated, but if you follow my instruction everything will be easy and in perfection. Now, first we have to cook the beef, the fillet. Of course we use a nice piece of fillet. We need some olive oil, salt and pepper. But before salt and pepper, I have to put the heat on and a non-stick pan on heat. Pepper, salt, bravo. And make sure the seasoning goes everywhere. Now, the meat goes on the pan and we need to caramelize the meat and give a nice color outside. Now, be patient and let's make the fillet of beef sexy. Oh, look at this beauty. Nice and sexy. And look at this, the meat looks so sexy and so nice. And now, for a kilo of fillet, we have to cook in two times. We have to cook now, separately the meat by itself, inside the oven, and then to cook it with the puff pastry. Because if we, put, if we put the raw meat inside the puff pastry and try to cook it inside the oven, the puff pastry will be burned and the meat will be raw. So we have to cook first a little bit the meat for 18 minutes. 18 minutes need a kilo of beef fillet. And then we have to cook for 25 minutes. So be prepared to follow exactly uh, the timing that I'm giving you. Now, a pan with rack on the top, the meat goes on and inside the oven for 18 minutes exactly. 180 degrees Celsius set to fan. Now, the pan is still hot and I will make my dixel of mushrooms. To make dixel of mushrooms, we need just mushrooms, salt and pepper and a little bit of wine. Put your mushrooms inside the mixer like this and then chop them but not completely so finely. We need some bit of mushrooms inside that paste. So, at this point, stop. Don't over mix the ingredients. Look at that. We need some, some pieces of mushrooms because actually if we make completely paste the mushrooms, the Dixel will not be so homey, so nice, and we need this kind of uh, loveliness in this paste. Now, I need a spatula. The mushrooms goes at the pan, and as you can see, I add no olive oil or butter inside. Some chefs use butter, some chefs uh, use olive oil. Of course, I'm going with the olive oil, and I will not add a lot. Just two tablespoons should be enough because after a while the mushrooms will evaporate all the water and will shrink and we need a few olive oil and a few salt and pepper. Do not overdo it with salt, pepper and olive oil because after a while you will have only salt, pepper and olive oil. So, salt inside, pepper, I already add some and the olive oil and I will cook the excel of mushroom for about 10 minutes until they are completely dehydrated. Now, a bit of wine inside to give some flavor. Now, for the chicken mousse, the things are very easy, but you have to make it exactly as I will show you. We need a mixer and we need half of a chicken fillet. And the chicken have two parts, the thick one and the one with the small fillet underneath. We need the thick one, this one, and you will cut lengthwise 
this part of the chicken here and you will use this part of the chicken because this part of the chicken has no fibers inside and we need no fibers for the mousse. Now, put it into the mixer. This one we will make it a nice chicken goes on after. Uh, salt and pepper. And salt. One egg white. And now let's mix very, very well. And when the chicken is completely pure, it's time to add the double cream inside, but slowly. And the chicken mousse is ready. If you want to add some more flavor inside, you can add some truffle oil. I don't like to add truffle at this recipe because the truffle oil will cover all the flavors and we don't want that. Now, look at this lovely chicken mousse. Now, transfer the chicken mousse into a bowl. And immediately, when you finish with the chicken mousse, cover the chicken mousse like this and inside the fridge it goes for at least half hour. You can leave it up to two days, there is no problem. But we need to chill very well the chicken mousse. Now, look at this lovely dixel of mushrooms. And this lovely dixel of mushrooms, guess what? We'll also will also go inside the fridge until completely chilled. Here. And the last one, where's my towel here? Is this lovely piece of meat. Look at that. Now, this lovely piece of meat will go where? inside the fridge until completely chilled. If we don't cover it, we have no problem. So, after one hour, when everything is completely chilled, we will carry on the recipe. So, everything are chilled, and it's time to prepare the beef wellington. Now, we need gloves. Now, we have to prepare everything. First, we have to combine the chicken mousse with the cell of mushrooms. Bravo! And at this point we have this lovely mousse of chicken and mushrooms. As I told you before, you can add some truffle oil inside or some foie gras, but there is no point, there is no need to do that. Now, we need to take off the string of the meat. Perfect. And I already prepared some crepes. If you want to find out how to make the best crepes ever, just tap to the link at the end of the video. Or you can buy some store bowl. Now, we need clean film, and all this procedure will happen on the top of this clean film. Now, I need two crepes. One, two, then I need a good amount of chicken mousse on the top of the crepes. When you cook the meat, the crepes will absorb all the flavor of the meat and will become more tasty, trust me. Now, the fillet goes on top and the rest of the chicken mousse goes on top, this way. Look at this. I don't know who crazy guy invent this recipe, but that day he was not okay, trust me. Because this is madness. This is uh, something that not normal people will think. Uh, now, I need more crepe. Here, this way. And now take the edges of the crepes and fold on the top of the beef, this way. If you find in some ways that the crepe is too much, just cut a little bit. Now. Cut the clean film and roll the beef wellington, this way. Tie the edges 
in this way, like a candy, and make it look nice. At this point, it's good to put it in the fridge for at least six hours, but if I tell you to do that, I'm sure that you're gonna say that I'm crazy and you already waited too much. But if you are not patient, you can carry on with the recipe. There is no problem, but you have to be very, very careful because if we put that the beef right now in the fridge, it will be set and it will be ready to be fold. Now, if we don't do that, we have to be very, very careful. Uh, now I need some puff pastry and I will start making my lovely beef wellington. I have a lovely puff pastry here and I need some flour and a rolling pin. With the rolling pin, make sure that the puff pastry has no holes inside. It needs to be solid because if it's not nice, all the juices from the meat will go outside and we don't want that. Now, take the welly, take it out, put it on the puff pastry this way and roll it. Oh my God, loveliness and heavenness. Look at this. If it not stick together, use some egg wash to make sure that the puff pastry will stick. Again, on top. Perfection. This way, and this way. And this is lovely, isn't it? Now, this side goes down. And I need a tray, and I will put my welly on the tray. It is lovely, right? But it's not ready yet, because we have to make it more sexy. And how we will make it more sexy? First, egg wash everywhere. And look at this, lovely. But I need more puff pastry. A good amount of flour. And I will make my puff pastry crisscross manner with this useful and lovely tool. This one. Cut it here. And now this is magic. And pay attention that the puff pastry should be very chilled. If you leave the puff pastry in room temperature for at least five minutes, you cannot make the whole process. Now, on top. Oh, look at this. Lovely. This side also, lovely. Now, let's go inside a little bit more egg wash. And now to cook the puff pastry, you need to put the oven to 190 degrees Celsius set to fun. Now, inside the oven for 25 minutes and then the beef wellington will be ready. Now, one more step and we are done. When the beef wellington is ready, let it rest for a half hour. Then we will slice it. And my beef wellington is ready. Look at this beauty. Look at this. So crunchy outside and so juicy from the inside. The secret for the beef wellington, okay, it has a lot of secrets, but the big secret is actually to let it rest for a while because if you slice it straight from the oven, all the juices from the beef, gone. You need to let it rest because it was so long procedure and the beef is not right. It needs some time to get set and be ready to be eaten. Now, uh, check where is the, the meat. Put your knife, you can see that when it stops, the meat is there. So all this, it's pure uh, puff pastry. So from this point and after that point, 
you will have a slice of a, a slice of a meat. But this lovely end is always tasty, and the chef always keep it for itself. Now, look at this. Okay, look at this. The perfect pink color, the perfect cooked beef, the perfect beef Wellington. Oh my God. Guys, when you serve this beef Wellington to your friends, everybody will get mad, get crazy. And you did it as simple as I showed you. And look at this. Actually, you don't need knife. It's just melting inside your mouth. Look, look at this lovely chicken mousse and this lovely meat. Mm. I can't really understand which part of this is more tasty. The outside, in the middle or the inside. Everything has its own taste. And everything is really, really unique. Oh my God. Mm. Subscribe to my channel, make comments under in the video and share this lovely recipe with your friends. Oh my God.